Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to another video uh, regarding home automation. So let's dive right into it. Today uh, I'll be showing you how to make an ESP8266 that uh, wirelessly connects to your sunscreen, your existing sunscreen that already has the uh, Sunfree remote. Uh, for that we will need a couple of things. One of them is a 433 MHz uh, transmitter. Just a radio frequency transmitter. Of course, ESP8266 uh, wire just pop loose. Uh, some uh, wires if you are planning to do it on the uh, breadboard. Uh, perf board if you are planning to solder it like I am going to do. And most importantly, 433.42 MHz crystal oscillators. Now, the ones on the uh, transmitter are 432.92 MHz, if I'm correct, or 96, not sure. Uh, but that's not the right frequency for the Sunfee sunscreens. So you need to buy a bag of 433.42 MHz crystal oscillators on eBay, AliExpress, not sure where you are going to get it. Uh, and you need to replace the existing crystal of this radio uh, transmitter module. Uh, it should fit right into it. So after you've done that, um, yeah, it's soldering time basically. Uh, now I'll put the schematic on um, on the video. Now we'll be uh, soldering the thing on a perf board to make it permanent as this will be a permanent solution well permanent it will be a permanent usage and I hear the headers there you go cut it into oh I forgot one thing uh, you also need a 3.3 to 5 volts level shifter uh, that's needed to convert the various voltage levels of course uh, yeah. and I'm uh, using a Polulu uh, level shifter of course you need uh, female headers uh, two 5 pin and one 3 pin and of course two rows for the ESP8266 uh, do I have another level shifter? no I don't so I'm going to use this one carefully remove it so you want the uh, at the back side of this level shifter there's a HV LV H1 to H4 and L1 to L4 you want the HV is of course high voltage at 5 volts and the H1 to H4 are the 5 volt in or output since this, uh, this is a uh, bidirectional level shifter and of course the LV stands for low voltage with this which is 3.3 volts and same goes for the L1 to L4 3.3 volt in or output and of course the 5 volt side needs to go to the radio frequency transmitter. Uh, so we need strategic planning for that. Or I just solder the level shifter directly onto the ESP. I think I'll do that. Yeah, I'll solder it directly onto the ESP. No, I'm not. I'm going to use a bigger perf board. No, there's a clear advantage of uh, uh, having the option to replace the level shifter and all the other components. So I'm going to do that, I think. Well, I think I am going to do that. Yeah. Solder it in place. blower it 
So that's everything soldered, well, except for the radio transmitter. We need to do that on the high side, which is the right side. Uh, just hold it with my finger. There you go. Get some wires. Alright, so that's one side connected. Now we need one wire at the, we need this wire at the 3.3 and the other one at the D5 terminal. So connect it to D5. Alright, that's connected to D5. Now we need the other one to connect to 5 volt or V in. So insert the wire at the HV pin of your level shifter. And solder it in place. and connect the other side to V in. Like that. Now we only need to connect one more wire. And that is the. Uh, let me see if I can remove the excess plastic. We, we only need to connect the ground wire to the. radio transmitter and the most right wire is the ground wire so that should be easy fairly easy a tiny connection to hold it in place and then solder it without touching another pin good and solder it to the right most To the rightmost pin of the transmitter. Uh, all right, so now that's done. perfect actually because the middle pin is the data pin so we can just make a solder bridge straight to the L1 H1 output of the level shifter which is excellent only thing being that I'm not very good at making solder bridges in tight areas but that's another story 
Oh, I think I managed okay this time. Now the final uh, wire we need to connect is the uh, HV wire. And I'm checking on how I can do that. There are two options. I can just no. Because we don't need a very large wire for this. Solder it to the HV pin or the 5 volt pin and solder the other end onto the third pin of your RF transmitter which is the VCC pin. So now Everything should be connected. Let's test it with my money meter. Continuity mode. So D5, most importantly, should. Yeah, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected, that's not connected. And that's okay. That should connect to that one. Yeah, that's okay. So if I insert this radio module and replace the ESP with the programmed one. like that and connect power to it it's kind of a climate build up you shouldn't see sparks everywhere So that's connected and when we use the home assistant we can see that our sunscreen is working. So I'll now guide you on the uh, code that we use for the, for the Arduino and uh, show you the home assistant configuration. So. When you've uh, soldered the PCB and connected the transmitter uh, and level shifter and of course the node MCU to the board, it's time to connect it via USB cable uh, and we're going to program it. Now I've included a link to the uh, code in the description below so uh, you can download it. Uh, you basically need to set a few things under tools uh, and board pick the node MCU uh, 1.0 and wait for the Arduino to load. Now we can just adjust the upload speed to uh, 256,000. So this will make life uh, a lot more easier. And flash size, JC24, Max 1, Mac, SPFFS. And of course, select your COM port. Now you need to change this, the remote ID, uh, because the, uh, otherwise you're using my remote ID or you're using a known remote ID and then anyone can uh, just adjust your uh, sunscreen and yeah that's not really what you want uh, also uh, change the rolling code well uh, zero might be a good place to start 
uh, and it will go up and up and up every time you press the button. So the rest, yeah, the rest is all um, basically just Arduino code. Uh, it's based on the same code that I use for the uh, MQTT switch for the Sonops. Only then uh, with the Somfy protocol injected in it, if you will. Um, so if you then click upload, the sketch is going to compile and then upload. So we'll wait for that to complete. So it's uploading right now. And since we adjusted the upload speed, this will go much faster than you're used to. Oh, oh don't forget to upload the um, data as well with the certificates. Otherwise, uh, your ESP won't be able to connect to the MQTT server. Now, once it's uploaded, open your uh, serial monitor. And you should see. Uh, wait for end speed time sync turn time and then you see this this means that the esp has booted up properly uh, has read the current rolling code from the ee prom and you're basically ready to go now what you need to do now is grab your original uh, remote and there should be a button at the uh, other side of the remote a tiny little button Use something to press that button for around five seconds. Then your sunscreen will uh, rapidly go back, go out and go back in a little. That means that's in programming mode. What you need to do then is I like to do it twice. Uh, just enter PP in the uh, serial monitor, press enter. Now it will uh, send the programming command twice. And if you do a U for up or a D for down, your sunscreen should react. That's basically it. That is for the Arduino code. Now, when you unplug your device or when it crashes, the rolling code has been saved to the EE prom. So it will resume where um, it left, basically. So that's, uh, that's no problem. Um, yeah. Also, the uh, configuration.yaml file for Home Assistant is in the description. You need to just pick and uh, place that into the configuration.yaml. Uh, you might want to adjust the MQTT topics, but that's not necessary, I think. Um, and then you've got your uh, cover controls with little arrows and a stop button, which of course, uh, up, down and stop uh, for the uh, sunscreen remote. It's also supported on the ESP. So basically that's it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.